Welcome to Ghost Tash Crypto Mining. In the last video, we put the RX570 rig to mine Raven Coin Lite. Today, we're going to check up on the 24 hour profits of that. 24 hours after that, though, I added this rig as well to mine Raven Coin Lite. Try to double the hash rate. I also thought the nightmare I had overclocking these, I, got, I finally got them steady. I wanted to try overclock settings on three other types of GPUs, which is what composes this rig here. I have RX 580s, RX Vega 64, and an RX 470 as well. So we're gonna get the overclock settings for these. And then on top of that, we're gonna discuss the differences between mining Ravencoin Lite and Ergo or ETH, for example. Um, some notable differences. I found this to be more like Raven coin mining as opposed to um, Ergo, which is a lower power consumption, or even ETH, which is you know mid mid range power consumption. But this here is a this takes a lot consumes a lot of power. Um, I think it was a total of 1.5 kilowatts on these 12 4 gigabyte GPUs. Actually, I have one 8 gigabyte GPU as well, the Vega 64. Um, but anyway, let's not waste any more time. If you're new around here, please subscribe. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate all you guys. Let's get right to it. So these are the overclock settings that work for the RX 570s. I've tinkered and tinkered with this. In the last two days and this is what I've come up with that runs pretty stable I haven't had an issue as you can see here the algorithm itself bounces up and down but I think that's just the nature of it I'm not sure if anybody knows please drop a comment below let me know uh, this was some downtime that I experienced because of a GPU dead and uh, recently came back up the Black Jag actually just booted up. These are the overclock settings that I'm using. On the RX 470, we have 1150 on the core, 1500 on the memory, 975 on the voltage. And as you can see below, uh, these RX 580s, and they all perform pretty differently. So this one, anything lower than 975, it crashes anything above 1250 it crashes i'm gonna try changing the thermal paste thermal pad see if that helps and the R the rx vega 64 very different in the way you overclock this card so i have this one when i put it at 1300 it crashes from time to time so i keep it at 1290 and i have no issue voltage is at 930 and the memory is way down at 950. We're getting some pretty decent mega hash here. We got a 9.329 mega hash on the R RX 470. I can get that up to probably 12. I'm pretty confident. I'm gonna mess around with that one a little bit. These four uh, RX 580s, anywhere between 15 and 16, but closer to 16. The one that I have set to 1250 instead of 1300 on the core is doing about half a mega hash or 0.6 mega hash less than the other two so we have a combined total of 98.27 mega hash pulling 744 watts of power combined that's a cost of 360 in daily electricity cost between these two rigs Looking at the Ravencoin Lite wallet, 
we have a total of 9,260 RVL coins. That's a difference of about 6,000 coins from yesterday's 24 hour total of mining with just one 6 GPU rig. Uh, we mined another 24 hours with all 12 GPUs and this is our combined total of the entire weekend. At 9,260 with a price of almost half a cent. Let's see what, what that would make. Okay, so 9,260 times 0 .00452. So we made a total of $41.85, which is not bad considering that a lot of coins are down right now and profitability is down. I guess uh, the market didn't really affect Ravencoin Lite since it's not listed on many exchanges yet or any exchanges that I know of. So just to recap, we talked about uh, power consumption, we talked about the profits, uh, 48 hour profits of mining uh, Ravencoin Lite over the weekend. Uh, we also discussed speculative mining and speculative investing, uh, the risks this is not financial advice guys as always um, I'm just showing you something that's out there that uh, maybe you can do some research on and it might work for you uh, but with that said just keep in mind that with high risk comes high reward so um, just know that everything that you in investing is risk it is risk there's no way around it um, there are ways to take uh, more educated risk um and that is by doing your research so guys do your own research we're back to mining auto lycos uh i've been mining auto lycos since this morning uh just less less power consumption less heat production and very similar profits to they're always in the top uh, one or two uh coins to mine with my current setup so that's why I mine Ergo. I enjoy it, but I'm gonna mine Ravencoin light. I don't wanna dedicate one to completely mining Ravencoin. I'd rather just stick to mining Ergo for now. I'm gonna build uh, another miner here shortly. In the very near future, I'm already planning the build. We'll have an extra miner to play with. But for now, I just wanna thank everyone for watching. Um, if you guys uh, like the video, please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and please give me any feedback if you guys uh, want to see something in particular just drop me a comment below i appreciate you guys thank you have a great day